Hello once again and welcome back to Austin's American Flyer YouTube page. I'm so glad you're here. We're going to do something kind of different and fun uh, tonight. And a big shout out to Joe, whose comments last week on one of the videos I posted got the gears turning, the steam flowing, and prompted this idea. Um, we're going to do something tonight that um, I've never thought to do before. I hope you find it intriguing. We're actually going to do somewhat of a tractor pull, if you will, uh, but uh, with steam engines, diesel engines, and all-American Flyer vintage equipment. So, a um, couple ground rules. Uh, first of all, I'm going to give you some um, somewhat accurate weights of the engines. I'm going to give you uh, how many drivers or how many wheels are applying traction. Uh, we're going to also list for you if they have pull more or not pull more. Pull more means that they have a rubber tread tire on at least one of the wheels. And um, on top of that, we're going to start our pulling on a 4% plus grade, okay? So uh, we're, gonna, we're gonna put these engines to the test and I have honestly no idea what's going to have the best pulling power. Um, on flat track, uh, they, they for the most part do pretty well. Um, but once you add in that, that angle of resistance, we'll see what happens with a grade. The other thing we're gonna do, and bear this in mind, is the cars that I'm going to specifically use are the searchlight cars from the late 1940s. Um, these cars are fairly heavy in and of themselves. They're metal uh, frames, they have a metal plate, they have the, the actual searchlight on them. On top of that, they have the older style uh, trucks on them. And so the ends of the axles aren't really supported very well. So that adds a lot of resistance. So we have a few cars that are heavy, a lot of res resistance starting on a grade. So we will see how well these engines do.
Come on, Murphy, you can do it. Or not. <laughs> 